hello everyone so i hope you all are doing well and as promised and i was receiving a lot of requests from people regarding starting electrical aspect so greetings for you all that we are going to start now electrical also okay so you will get a video on and often uh, almost every day one topic to be covered okay so today we are starting with a very small topic and that is about dashboard okay it was asked by surveyor many a time and i also found that people were asking what is a dashboard and all those things so we'll be discussing about where, what is a dashboard what is its uses where it is placed and what is about its construction so which will suffice your answer for the oral and also i also request that uh, this platform is only for providing you an expected answer i don't want to become a teacher to teach you all for this region okay my intention is to that what is the expected answer and bring all the things in one umbrella at one place okay so you may find at certain places because i want to keep the video short and simple so that is the reason i don't go in depth of explanation and all that nor i intend to be a teacher so please try and understand and cooperate thank you so much okay so let's begin the topic without any further ado now dashboard when we talk about are fitted for overload overload trips to get time delay action so that breaker will not be opened simple due to momentary current surge so there is a momentary current surge okay so dashboard is nothing fitted for overload trip to get time delay action so there is a delay so that the breaker should not be open because if there is a sudden surge in the uh, current the breaker will suddenly open so there will be a different situation there will be a break out uh, blackout and all the machinery will shut down so dashboard is a safety device that is provided when load current is in excess it attracts plunger to the solenoid so when there is a load current which is in excess they, then it attracts the plunger of the solenoid plunger or piston moves up now you see here na plunger or piston what we are talking about in the diagram okay plunger or piston moves up against the displacement of viscose oil or silicon fluid through a small hole on the piston so there is a small hole which is provided there on the pistons maybe in this diagram it is uh, not visible okay uh, so what is happening is that a small hole is provided there it attracts uh, displacement of viscous oil or silicon fluid through a, so remember that that is a viscous oil or a silicon fluid that is present through a small hole on the piston time lag depend upon the hole size and viscosity of oil so how much that there will be a time delay that will depend on the size of the hole and also on the viscosity of the oil load current setting for trip is about 25% so load current setting for trip is about 25% above maximum but should not exceed 50% it is a mechanical so in a nutshell if we say it is a mechanical device which makes time lag of the trip with different viscosity of the oil it is fitted in an overload trip preferential trip under voltage release trip release trip okay the dashboard arrangement consists of a small piston with a small orifice and which is placed inside a small cylinder assembly okay as you should see in the diagram okay small piston placed inside a cylinder assembly with a small hole with silicon oil okay and depending on the viscosity of the oil it is open the piston moves up against the fluid silicon and the time delay is governed by the orifice in the piston dashboard are fitted for overload trip to get time delay action so that the breaker will not be opened due to the momentary current surge when load current is in excess it attracts plunger of the solenoid plunger or piston moves up against the displacement of viscous fluid or silicon fluid through a small hole of the on the piston time lag depend upon hole size and viscosity of oil load current setting for trip is about 25% above maximum but should not exceed 50% so i hope it is clear for you that what is a dashboard and what is its function how it functions and what it is a safety device you can say 
okay what are its component that we have already seen and discuss okay thank you so much